There is a podcast no one asked for. A podcast you never knew you didn't want. Three beers in. This is the podcast. I anticipate a deeply religious experience. Well, hey everybody! Thanks for joining us again for Three Beers In. This this is a bonus episode. We're sampling our homebrew. Bonus episode. Homebrew. Bonus. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, what? I'm gonna cut that out. No. <laughs> um. So. So first. so I, as always, this is Ross. This is Clint. This is Amy. Still fuck you, Cutter. This is Tony. This is Cutter. Yeah. It's a, a, <laughs> as you could hear, we also have Amy Rain guest starring. Hi, guys. But she's, yeah, don't call it a comeback, please. <laughs> she's working on her remix album right yeah. now. I am releasing a music album, my EP. It's exciting times. Ooh. Exciting times. Cooking yeah. with gasoline. Oh, man. Just Sop imagine. Wet. <laughs> <laughs> you beat me to it. <laughs> I beat a lot. Anyway. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. So this, it, first, we're trying our Block Party Amber. Clint made this. It's from a Northern Brewer kit. He used extract. He might not want me to t- say that, but no, it's okay. No, no, no. This was no, a tell first him, attempt. Tell them right? about the basic bitch beer. It's all right. A lot of people that call themselves home brewers still use extract. I don't get it. I, I mean, I guess yeah. There, there's a hump getting over, getting all the equipment to do an all grain batch, but I think it really improves it. I've had quite a bit of this. I wouldn't say it's bad. But if there were other ambers, I might go with it. Yeah. It's not going to beat Circles Envy. I'm getting a lot of uh, banana on the nose. Yeah, I it's like I, a coriander. I, I disagree with that, actually. It's not a bad front taste. There's just a little bit of aftertaste on it that I would probably remove, and then it'd be a good beer. That might be the homebrew tang, which yeah. you get a lot with extracts. Yes. For our listeners it, at it, home, that, we're going to be hypercritical of ourselves. That, there might be some That, that back-end flavor that you're picking up, and I'm pretty sure I'm on the same page with you, that wasn't there that originally? Is, or? No, no. Th- that was. Sometimes when I drink it, it has a very sharp, like, alcohol yeah. kind of aftertaste to it. But the, right now, I'm not tasting oh, that. Okay. But... Uh, yes, that aftertaste that we currently taste is what the extract smelled like. Gotcha. So oh, okay. what we're tasting is Clint's sharp back end. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's like nickels. It's sopping. It's so so I know it's that soft. this is from a kit. wet back end. Did you, did you diverge from the I did the not kit? diverge. That's why we're calling it the basic bit. Gotcha. Beer. I was wondering I if, you, the, if, you, if, you, true? if you move away from the recipe, <laughs> I feel like you can name it yourself. For sure. Yeah. This is, yeah, no, this is Block Party Amber right. Northern Brew. You just do it by the book the first time. Well, in, well in true, unless we'll, we'll, you're we'll, Cake we'll, Boss Ross. We'll, 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 yeah. come well. we'll come back to that statement. <laughs> Northern Brewing offers a whole lot of stuff if you go onto their website. They're really cool. You can get so much stuff on there. You can get malt. You can get everything you need, really, to make your beer. Though we have Austin Homebrew Supply, which is much closer. They might not have everything, but they have a whole lot of stuff. And today, I think that's on their sign. Yeah, I think that is. Today, on July 13th... Woo! It's Friday the 13th, oh. Ross, again. Yes, <laughs> second time you've made that joke. <laughs> but they won't know. Not the second time in the same podcast. Anyway. Um, oh, yeah. It's different they, streams. They, it doesn't happen. <laughs> don't cross the streams. But, yeah, you get 13% off any order over $49. So That's not bad at all. That's a pretty good deal. Yeah. What's, what's they this? usually have pretty good deals yeah. at Austin Homebrew Supply. Yeah, this is going to come out way after that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next year. Well, you're... no, there's, there's a couple but they... Friday the 13th in a year, right? Oh, oh September of 2019 is the next Friday. It is. I, I came up with That's that. Weird. Did you bang it? Uh, Google no. Maps. Yeah. Google Maps? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Google Maps. Yeah, so if there's calendar. one thing that's worse than Bing, it's Google Maps for finding <laughs> answers. No, no, because what it did. I'm late to ask Did you, you mean Google Calendar? If, if that was, like, if that was a joke, that was a really good joke, Joel. 
We call those jokes. <laughs> jokes. Hey, we don't, we don't tell him that we call him that. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's I'm right. sticking to that. Google Maps. <laughs> Are you late to everything? <sighs> yeah, because he he's got to iron his shirt. Did you put it in your maps? Oh, oh yeah. bird. <laughs> Well, I still beat Tony here every time. So, hey, <laughs> hey, Google, where's the nearest burn center? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bing, no, I don't want to see Peru. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bill's still awake. <laughs> so, Bill from you know, oh, yeah, yeah, Bill from Bing. Bing. Yeah, I get oh, that. I he, he's the Google, guy. Who's yeah, he Googles Google. everything for you when yeah. you Bing oh, it. Hey, he Bill does Gates. it quick. I get it yeah. now. Not, not Bill Gates. <laughs> just, just, Bill. Just, Bill. just Bill. Just get him some guy. So, guy. Uh, I'd give this a one. I'd give it a one. If that, oh, that's what we're doing. Thanks, guys. Clint, I want to hate it. Look, I want to hate it so just, bad. Just because it's a it's, one, does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I appreciate that y'all can at least drink it. Yeah. I, no, no, the big I've, question is, I've had is plenty it still these, a one for so. Cutter? <laughs> Cutter's like, I hate this a, beer. Yeah. This is fucking terrible. I found the one beer that... I mean, it's better than soaking wet panties, so... Uh, <laughs> sopping. 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 Sorry. Sopping. Sopping. Soaking wet would be preferable to sopping. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Wait, sopping is when you actually. So, that's a. Uh, it's more of an actual. What, right? what it's if like you, when you're actually dipping? I'm gonna be sopping. You you. <laughs> so you, in England, you get your biscuit out so I and you sop it up. So be ashamed of any sopping that happens. In England, no, pants don't be ashamed are of underwear. It. Yes, no, <laughs> do not be so. ashamed of it. Well, we do have a UK <laughs> downloader. I don't. I don't know who you are, <laughs> but I'm gonna well, find you. I wonder if it's, it's my like a teenage husband. dream, man. <laughs> How would you even spell that? Is there an H? S O P P I N G, I would think. Wait, teenage dream. That's what? O P P I N G. That's shopping. No, oh, wait, sopping. 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 No, I didn't say. Why H. are we? Why are we? Why are we binging sopping? We're not binging we it. Binging We're it? putting it into Google Maps. <laughs> Google Maps is going to lead you to perfect ten. Uh, uh, sopping uh, is in their SEO. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there so much mildew in here? <laughs> According to Google, if you it's use... quite damp. I think all the women there are running the low grade fever. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like a wet mop. They got some damp heat going on. So in here. Clint should have Googled this because Google would use it in a sentence, which would have been. Get those sopping clothes off. <laughs> that that's what response. you should have said. Yeah, yes, exactly. That's exactly what he she wanted. Yeah, that, that's that's look, the way you should have look, said back to she, her. She's ready to go. You don't have to warm up the engine or anything. <laughs> those tires are warmed up, you know. Uh, yeah. You're about to do some laps. What you don't do even do? have to do an e brake turn to get it. Just. <laughs> e -brake turn. Yeah, those I've never done an e brake turn. Women love and respect a good e-brake turn. Yeah, exactly. Right. Watch Top Gear, we, they'll, they'll explain yeah, it all. That's yes. hot. We, we, yeah, yeah. So absolutely. next week, or whenever my wife sees you, she's going to be like, she's going to be like, yeah, I hate all of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> the Prius was not ready for an e-brake turn, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Whoa. It's I not know. Wait, what, it's not wait, a Prius. What is, Exactly. It is the Prius. Wait, no, he's not talking about his car. I'm not car. talking about my car. <laughs> nah, I mean. It's not a Prius. I think that's worse. It's a Prius. That's a joke, Clint. It's silent if you keep it under five miles per hour. <laughs> oh. Back to what my. <laughs> it is silent, though. I wanted to ask you about the actual beer making process because this is pretty darn cool. Yeah, like, we actually these... recorded the process, oh, but I don't did. think we're going to release it because oh. it trade secrets. Yeah. It, it, no, it was just a shit show. <laughs> okay. Clint would not talk into his mic. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. But there was, was like. There was just a lot of stuff going on. It, was, it was, was our first time and we, we were just kind of. <laughs> we were so nervous. We were just and messing awkward. around. Yeah, everyone Dude. remembers that first. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I had to hang out with Sopping. I had to hang out with you guys for three hours. Hours for nothing? Yes. Yeah. I can, God, God damn it! it. Look, you got look, to hang look, out with us. I, I, can, I can release it. It's okay. But I mean, I just, or you could just kind of summarize, you know, like, so you guys, uh, what I saw were like really big pots uh, of you boiling stuff down yeah. and adding grains. Hey. Well, this, the second time was easier because I made a mash ton, which was that cooler. And so what we did was we heated up our water to a certain temperature and then we threw that in the cooler. Then we threw our, our grains in there, and then we keep them at a certain temperature for an hour, which I was having trouble doing that on the stove 
Because I would have to turn off the heat and then turn it back on and keep it stirring the whole time so it didn't burn. Yes, so gas this is, is like better before no, gas the is, yeast. It's definitely better than electric. Yes. This is before the. Oh, yeast this is or... way before. Okay. See, and the, and then you. So get... you're just sort of like making a, a little like a concoction of like. Yeah, it's maybe even a decoction. It's, no, well, it's, it's a, a decoction. It's applied it's chemistry. Co- what do you put in there first? Depends. It depends. Well, yeah, it depends on okay. what you you're making. For the amber, amber this, he did. He I didn't, he do, didn't that. do the math. This beer tastes oh, like okay. he put depends in it first. <laughs> he puts depends in it. <laughs> he used the liquid malt, which is a step that we did. You were there the other day when the, when me and Clint were making our, our Mad wheat scientist. peach yeah. wit or peach oh, wit. Right, right, right. Yeah, well, yeah. it's a peach wheat because we are our actually using a wheat yeast. Sorry. Yes. Which is what I'm calling it. You can I'm call it whatever the, the hell you want. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah, we were making our wheat beer, and then we we were mashing in the cooler in our, our mash tun. And then you wait for an hour, and the hot water is going to absorb all that sugar. That's what you're trying to extract out of your malts. And then you pour hot water on there to hopefully to stop the enzymes from breaking down your starches into little chains of of sugars that your yeast is going to later eat. So you you put that in there, you sparge it, uh, which is just pouring the hot water over it and and getting it out. And then you take all that, basically, and then you put it in a pot and then you put it to boil. And then you boil that for an hour and then you add your hops in increments, whichever. It depends because you add your just bittering hops, which Mm -hmm. is just going to bitter the beer and you're not going to get flavor from it, which uh, Matt... The assistant brewer at North by Northwest, he was saying that I shouldn't have put use the hops that I use for bittering for our wheat because they're just so special. They have this special taste, which if you put them later in the boil, you'll get like like a grapey, whiny sort like of taste. Like towards the end of the hour? Which, yeah, which I didn't really want because I just wanted them for bittering because they're, they're, they have high alpha acids, which is which equates to basically a lot of bitterness. So, but yeah, so yeah, f- then you wait and you, f- 15 minutes, then you generally put in your uh, flavor hops and then at your flame out when you turn off the, the gas, you j- put in your hops for aroma, which is, that's going to be most of what you get, you're getting from your beer. Did mm. you guys enjoy the process? Like, was it yeah. fun to do it? it and It's a lot of work, but it, you know, it's fun. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, I like Proud making. Proud it at I'm the not, end. Yeah. So. Exactly. The only thing is, you got to wait like two or three weeks uh, or more, depending on the beer that you're making, yeah. to yeah. see if it like all turned out. Yeah. We still don't know if this one has turned out. Yeah, I used I, to make. I think it. I think it's gonna be. I would good. make like sourdough, beer, sourdough right? bread. No, no, we have not tried his porter. His first no, beer. That's gonna. That's gonna be that's our gonna, next. That's coming next. Which I had some trouble with that one, but I think it, it evened out. This. You know what I will say? For me, this is the easiest beer to drink tonight. <laughs> <laughs> But what I was going to say is, like, beer. like waiting two weeks is a long time. Like, I used to wait, Seven. like, you know, it's two days, basically, <laughs> yeah, to make uh, sourdough bread where you, you know, you make your yeah, own I'm starter and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to do something else yeah. to, and then, to try to keep more sediment out. Uh, um, Tony just pointed out that he has some sediment in his, and, yeah, that's one of the things. Yeah, that, that's one of the things I wanted to mention. You get We all kind of poured it, and I didn't think about it, sediment. but there, there's yeast in the bottom, be, in which you're going to get unless you, mm-hmm. you know, carbonate in a keg. Uh, but we don't have that facility yet. And you can learn all about this process if you pay us five dollars on Patreon a month. We will release uh, that podcast. And we'll five dollars, I think you get. You, you might get a koozie for five dollars <laughs> on Patreon. Actually, we have a whole lot of rewards on there. Just go on there. If you don't want to give money, that's fine. Just look at what we have. We, you can. You know, give money to to insult cutter. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever you want. You know. How yeah. do I get that leave sweet, us, sweet? Leave, give us money curtain. and leave a nice fuck you cutter. Yeah. Yeah. Is, oh, there, a, oh, is oh. there a fuck you cutter shower curtain yet? No. Oh. So that should be. Uh, that that should I'm be not sure. Sure. I think we have a mailing list for that one. <laughs> We're waiting for it to come <laughs> out though. Yeah. I know one lady That's in particular solid. that will definitely. I, buy I am not <laughs> sure. Threadless. I mean, will I think my daughter deserves that. I know it's a like fifty something dollar shower curtain but oh man when Fortunate. if we do have Fortunate. three Fortunate. full baths i'm just letting you know that our in the guest, guest bath, bath is going to have the three beers in shower curtain i think our uh, turned in laws really to the inside that. they do deserve yeah. that turn to the inside though. yes where we're all looking yeah, at yeah. Them the the so they can they can admire while we admire them in the shower <laughs> while 
while Cutter with your, his... Your resident Snapchat ghost. <laughs> yeah. Clint, will they Wait. also get a complimentary koozie for their shower beer? I think Ooh. all of our guests deserve a complimentary. If they shower in that shower. I'm, I'm going to have to be drunk if I'm going to get a sh- Oh, there's a koozie here. It's perfect. <laughs> shower beer. I'm really excited about this third bath. Yeah. Hey, Are Cutter. you going to get sopping wet in yeah. <laughs> Do me. Do me, Ross. Oh. Context. Uh, <laughs> Are we still doing phrasing? That wasn't, that wasn't so much phrasing as context. <laughs> hey, Amy. Hey, Ross. Have you ever heard of the Driscoll Hotel? I have. No, you oh. can't. No. Well, See? No, <laughs> you're like over there. It's always doing it wrong. All you're supposed to say is no. No, I haven't. Well, just say no! <laughs> I went to a club across the street once. Oh, okay, that's good. Hey, Ross. Finally. Ask me the same question. <laughs> <laughs> I met Kings of Leon there. It was super uh, cool. Yeah, go, go, <laughs> go with Cutter. <laughs> uh, either one. Hey, hey, Cutter, have you heard of the Driscoll Hotel? <laughs> <laughs> that was with Amy when she met Kings of Leon from across the street. Damn it, Cutter! <laughs> Uh, the opulent hotel at the corner of Six and Brazos is one of Austin's oldest landmarks. As soon as you walk in, you are greeted by the Driscoll's grand staircase. But if you see a little sepia-toned girl playing with a ball, perhaps you should get something to eat instead of continuing that way. While you're at the Driscoll, you can enjoy some of Austin's finest food at the Driscoll Grill or 1866 Cafe and Bakery. Founded by the Heritage Society and operated and staffed for over 20 years by members of said society. The 1866 lunchroom is stocked with recipes from the hotel's past. It is known to this day as Austin's socializing parlor. And I don't know why I'm talking like this. Yeah, can I still see uh, some of those people around? Yes. I think it might be one of Austin's most haunted landmarks, if not the most haunted. They do have a ghost tour there. Yeah. The 1866 Cafe and Bakery remains a respected establishment and favorite Austin bakery for many. Mm-hmm. This social gathering place for locals and out-of-town guests alike. Look here for delicious traditional Texas comfort food that combines time-honored Texas traditions with contemporary preparation. The 1866 Bakery features an incredible array of scratch-made pastries and Austin's finest cakes. The Driscoll Hotel. It'll be an unforgettable night. They uh, have, oh, uh, oh. they'll have like a piano player every once in a while, and they have a really nice ceiling. It's like almost like gilded. Yeah, gilt. Would you say gilded? Or no, gilded. it's gilded. Yeah, it's not mirrored. Well, no, it's not gilded. Yeah. No, we're no, not talking about just, your bedroom single decor. jewel. No, it, it's just uh, <laughs> gold, or I, I guess you gilded. can gild with silver. Yeah, gilded. It's, it's like gold, though. It's there, gilded, like gold, gilded gold gilded plate though, or gold like uh, leaf, gold like leaf, like gold leaf. It's a really cool happy hour, too. Oh, yeah? Um, I hardly I've ever am there. in that area. Yeah, during happy I, I, hour, I went by once it once or twice. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool it's driving cozy, down the street. though, for yeah. being, like, as, as high end. It was, like... It's quite cozy. It's it was how the like, ghost invites you in <laughs> before I mean, they rape you. <laughs> <laughs> ghost rape? Well, <laughs> well, actually, but we'll get in... Uh, we don't have to get into when that. we get into it? No, not really. I mean, I have, I have another one, but... Yeah. Later. How do we get into it? <laughs> I mean, we can talk about. Set me up. I, I mean, if you're sopping wet, you really don't have to. I actually so you remember that one it? time we met Kings of Leon. <laughs> <laughs> you're sopping wet, Cutter. I actually wrote this a couple months ago, but I wanted Tony to be here because I thought he would have something to. No. To provo- it's romantic. He, he's, he's big into the into Austin, and he's done stuff and, and that, history and, and that stuff. Highbrow society. Yeah, exactly. I have done so, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. So yeah. I'm, What's I'm, next, I'm waiting on the next one. I can taste that I, extracts, right? There's. Uh, I, I give it a one, Clint. I did Yay. give it a one. It's oh, very, absolutely. very good. Yeah. Oh, we got back it's, to that. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it's easy yeah. drinking. It's, it's yeah. Easy drinking. Yeah. No, I, I, I think that's I what we were going that, with. Uh, I would take a big bark before this. So. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have a big bark. Let me rinse out my glass. Oh. <laughs> so there's not a whole lot of carbonation. Yeah, but... it just that, that's what I noticed as well. Yeah. The only other uh, homebrew dark heavy beer that I've had, it's like it didn't have a whole lot of carbonation either. The so. thing is, well, do you need uh, the, the, the porter in general? You like, can add like a little bit of a 
like more sugar and yeast afterwards, yeah. right? To bottle, yeah. kind of bottle. We did. And, yeah, and that, that's what I did. But I could have added more sugar, but for the the table that I was given, the it said to add this much, and so it'll give it. You know, you'll have more mouth this too. Clint's already taken. What kind of sugar do you add? Like if like is I it just dextrose, regular dextrose. Okay. Which is uh, corn sugar? Yeah, it's not just regular table yeah, sugar. Yeah. You can. <laughs> you okay. can use pretty much any sugar. You can use honey. Uh, some honeys will give you a different flavor though. Yeah. So. What if you use the fly honeys? <laughs> oh yeah. No. All right. Do you want to try it first? Or you want me to? Go for it. Have at it. I like the smell of it. I'm just having a little taste. I like it. It's got it's it's definitely got the coffee notes. That after flavor coffee. It's not bad. Uh, not bad. <laughs> oh, I'd go way better than that. So that's no, not no. even being fair, saying not bad. Yeah, no, that's I'm what say, that's I'm what I was thinking. Sorry. Thank you, Tony. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Clint's, Clint's beer was okay. Ross. No. Ross's beer Cutter, is bomb. Cutter, you you try it. You I haven't really tried it yet. yet. So while he's tasting, what I tasted was uh it's very strong. It's Good. It's got a good aftertaste. It's got a good mouthfeel. It's got a good color. It's a little flat. That it is a little flat. That's what, what we were that just talking about. That adds to the mouthfeel. Lack of carbonation. <laughs> I think this would be great over an ice cream because of the flatness. Oh, well, that's true. Like it's like almost like I won't say syrupy, it's, but it's got it's, a very strong sweet flavor yeah. to it. Yeah. With a little bit of coffee and like aftertaste. Great over ice cream. Does it remind you of butter pecan in your coffee cutter? I'm. Getting a lot of butter, like on the nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Butter? Like, I'm getting butter. I don't know that I got butter Ooh, at all. He has some butter beer. I don't know if it's just Did mine, he put the milk sugar in this? Oh, he did. Yeah, some of it. Some of it. You don't want to drink that. It's like, and the, the finish is Oops. off on mine. Well, isn't that milk from the uh, Austin Milk Bank, though? Yeah. Yeah. It's it's. I think I actually milk. donated to that. Black? No, we actually picked up a hooker off the road. <laughs> and we, uh, we did a thing. lactating yeah. hooker. Yeah. Yeah. Well, she didn't take maternity leave, so. Well, some guys are into that. <laughs> they are. Yeah. No joke. Oh. Um, That's a thing. Stopping wet bras. Dang it. <laughs> Not my husband. He's but like, you can put those away. I feel like. Even my beer, just in the experience I have so far, my beer, when I first opened a bottle, I hadn't refrigerated it for very long. I just stuck it in the freezer and, like, crash cold, cooled it. It was a lot more carbonated then mm -hmm. than what we just drank tonight. So I don't know if cause... bottling and, like, the caps aren't really sealing all that carbonation in as well as we think they are or what, but, yeah. My beer started off a lot more carbonated, and all the beers I've had over the couple of weeks after have all been yeah. far less carbonated. It's just not always good the first time. That's okay. No, yeah, it's. A, <sighs> I, I I see the potential. I definitely see the potential. It has all the. You've flavors. already hurt me enough, Kurt. <laughs> it has hey, all Ross, the flavor. Notes. I like it. I like Thank this you, beer. John. I could drink this there, beer. There, there is the butter, which I wasn't. I wasn't noticing until Cutter, oh, yeah. absolutely. Cutter read the butter. can. And, there's, and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it there's too. Butter. I just think we've had butter, so much butter is an, it Butter's an off flavor. Although there, oh, there, is, there flavor? should be a little bit in uh, porters and stouts, but maybe not yeah, it's good. as much. It's rich. Well, I love butter. <laughs> I'm in the Paula Dean school of beer tasting. <laughs> mm -hmm. so. You want some toast with this, this beer? Oh, I would love oh, some man. toast with this beer. Butter beer. Mm -hmm. Ice cream. So what can we do to increase carbonation? Just let it go more longer? Sugar. More Shake sugar? up your beer before you shoot it. Yeah, just like more, you know. It's sweet. No, it's that, that doesn't answer. It's more yeast the good, the good thing is about it, it's, it's sweet. And so I, I see the, it's just the nose is, is off. It's off-putting to me. Yeah. It's like, especially from a porter standpoint. If it you should aged get that, more. You should get that roast and that, that coffee a lot more on the nose. I didn't want that roast. I, so, but that's, okay, what, that's okay. what porters and stouts are known that's for. That's what stouts. I have a question, though, about like the bear making. Making that. process. So whenever you're first trying to get like the yeasty beasties to eat up all the the goodness, mm -hmm. like so, a, like a weekend because you guys are like you know like one to two weeks, and you do something to the beer. Are you adding more sugar? Are you adding more yeast? What are you What are you doing? Like oh no, just pulling it all out. So you're, you're pulling it out and then doing yeah, what you, to it? for no. That's what I do all the time. Throwing it away. Out. Oh, you're throwing it away. Yeah, for. Wow. 
in primary for fermentation, sure it depends on your yeast, but okay. it should take... So you're, like, throwing half of it away, and then you're adding more sugar? Well, there's, there's always going to be yeast left in your beer. Okay. But most of it will fall out. It'll flocculate out and just go to the bottom. Yeah. In which we have a conical fermenter, so we can just, like... It dumps in the bottom, and we can just throw it's that all out. It's very different from out. bread making. And I'm, the, the I'm thing a bread is, maker, so... But the thing is, if you leave that yeast in there... That can contribute to off flavors. But what about carbonation? Like if You're you still want to have yeast water. in suspension, yeah. Yeah. yeah, all throughout the beer, right? Because like You'll some will survive, and then you feed it. But you can it. also you can also add yeast at the end, right? For when you're carbonation, bottling. yes. Okay. Yeah, if you want. Okay. Not not a lot of. Uh, well, I don't know if a lot of people do. I, I would like you to do this beer again. Yeah, I would like to do this beer again too. Because this beer has a lot of potential. Your mom has a lot of potential. So I keep telling her. So apparently Tony is unplugging. He's pulling out. He's getting out of the matrix. Pulling out too soon. He's he's sopping wet. He's going home to bing it. I had an Uber that was one minute away, and it just canceled. So hey, oh shit! They do that. You, you should probably hey, should then just we, sit we back should down. talk about scary movies. Lit. July the 13th. <laughs> On July the Jaws. 13th. Hey, you guys want to talk about A Quiet Place? I do, actually. I did do. you see it? Of course I did, yeah. Well, I don't know. No, I, I mean, I know it. you, I actually saw, I know you, you saw a lot of, Wait, did you of John for, Krasinski did you and for it? Emily Blunt. Oh, uh, I'm on... a big Emily Blunt fan. Did you pay for it? <laughs> Yeah, I did. I saw it in the theaters. Oh, uh, wow. You didn't myself. see it on Todd Flix? By myself. By yourself. <laughs> Don't laugh at that. Oh, too I, late. There's nothing wrong with seeing a movie too, by yourself. I always get re- super depressed to see a movie by myself. I which saw Avatar. That's how I see, I see most of the movies. My wife movies. doesn't like scary I saw, movies. I saw The Force Awakens by myself, and I have I no go. shame about it. Force, I saw Force Awakens like four times. That's how you have I would go Force anyway, to anyway, a movie Tony. by myself in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah to any, yeah. any yeah. movie ever at any time. Monday so, matinees, that's so, the time to go because so nobody's there. John Krasinski mm. directed... Co-wrote the screenplay and starred in A Quiet Place. Yeah, he did. I really like the scene where he tricks Dwight to going outside and then gets eaten by a monster. Jim Halpert said there was an abandoned infant in the woman's room. When I went to save the child, I saw Meredith on the can. That was... (laughs) Michael! (laughs) Michael! Identity theft is not... There's a Dwight in the the movie? No. No. It's an office joke. Yeah. I was trying to. Well, is there an equivalent mesh, of the, mesh the No. 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 I should count the there's old man. There's literally only like gets, six uh, people. There's literally yeah. only like six yeah. people in the whole entire movie. Yeah. And I don't know. I wanted more of that. I wanted. It's like a world building movie, you know? And I wanted more of the world. The, my biggest problem with it is that you saw the ending mm-hmm. pretty early. It's oh like, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I was, uh, I was, a little, I was a little, a little yeah, off. Yeah, I mean, and the thing is, like, the oh, one okay. character, this is happening, and she's just like, oh, whatever. Can okay, we, right, so it, it went away. Seen, seen it? No, without ruining it, when you say the ending's early, do you mean like they you, foreshadow the, the ending? You can they foreshadow it. Yeah, 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 you can. You can tell what's going to happen, but you don't. You can't. You don't know. You if don't it's gonna know work. it. You don't know it. <laughs> I mean, you don't know exactly what. I mean, there's a lot of know. stuff going on, but yeah, but uh, you but you pretty much know how that's, that's my problem things are going to go that's down. That's my problem with world building movies, though. It's yeah, like yeah, yeah, if you all right, see you later, Tony. Love you, buddy. Adios, uh, guys. Bye. Bye. That, that, that's driving. my problem. That's my problem with world building movies, though, uh-huh. is that if you give away the like the ending of yeah. the first movie, like no. halfway through, then it's like it kind of kills. Literally everything well, else. What if you are they, to what are they gonna it. do for the sequel? But no, it's so, like, it's like well, you were talking about world building movies, yeah. and so like, it's like I'm for that. Like uh, Pacific Rim, I haven't seen the second one. Oh, second I haven't one's, seen the no, he still one. hasn't seen what? it. It's like I, your favorite movie I know, of all time I ever bring made. It, I bring it up to him every time I see him. It, it's and tough he still has right not now seen it to go see a, a movie. It yeah, is. Probably, you can buy it. Probably on Amazon digital. Yeah, right now. Well, that is how I saw it. Is it I actually this week? Think... Or is it two weeks? How long do they do? Is it on is Amazon Prime? I'm know, sure it is can... now. Not Prime. If if yeah. if it's one of his favorite oh, no, movies, no, no, he should Prime, buy it. Prime, but you could probably buy it from yeah, Amazon. Yeah, I, I saw yeah, it. You can buy it from Amazon. Amazon. I need to rent it from Amazon. Yeah. You guys, you should buy it wrong. Subscribe to Patreon so we can get Clint to be able to afford a movie that he can buy for $15. We set that clock. 
I don't know if Clint's getting any of this money. <laughs> yeah, it's like once, shit. once we get over our the cost of of doing the show every month, then yeah, maybe we can we can give Clint some money to, <laughs> to buy Pacific Rim too. See John Boyega so, in all his glory. So the more the more Patreons we have, the more likely Clint can watch his favorite movie. Yeah, the exactly. Of? The sequel of my favorite. Yeah, movie. sequel of his no, favorite movie. It's not my favorite movie though. <laughs> what? It's you not know the fifth what my element. favorite movie is? Oh, that's right. Rock and Roller. Oh, beauty is a beguiling call to death, and I'm addicted to the sweet pitch of its siren. That is a pretty good movie though. Or the the remake it, of Tony's Friday got... the Thirteenth. Huh? The remake of Friday the What? 13th. Sorry, Sam Winchester. That is From not my Supernatural. Favorite. That is not my favorite movie. So, I mean, okay, so so Jack is born, yeah. and then he's automatically no. a full-grown child. No, did no, he no, come, no, automatically. Did no, he come, automatically. So he didn't come out like a full-grown child? No. So, no. So they didn't show the lower half, so she wasn't just, like, burst open. Like, well, she died. Just like, yeah, she died. How but, far into season 13? What? Oh, I don't Stop. know. Like, halfway. Ah. Uh. So, but Cass is back. Yeah, no, there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of lull in the middle. You're a lull. lot of lull. There's wait, a lot of lull wait, going so on do right they, now. So, do they go back to the monsters of the week thing? This no. This. Okay, because I like when they do that because start, I don't like their overarching storylines where it's like this? we're dealing with heaven and just like fuck these this angels. Is a lull. This is you're a big hate lull. The next season. Oh though. God. Lull. But Lucifer. But You're, then he's powerless. What? No. What the hell? You'll you'll, you'll get into it. Uh, Stop. That'll, I do, that'll I do, all be resolved. I do by like the, end the actor. Of the Stop. I mean Jacob from Lost. He was he was good. Okay. Uh, I mean, who is Jacob? Jacob from Lost. He's Lucifer. But who is Jacob from Lost? Why he's he in Lost? Mark Pellegrino he, or whatever. He did everything in Lost. God damn it! Now y'all even suck, Jolin. All right. I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> he's, uh, he's blonde. He only showed up in the last season. Is that oh, he was from? one of the. He's uh, the one, he been killed. Good or evil, yeah. Nobody yeah. cares. I do. Whoa, I do. whoa! People and by care. nobody, I mean I don't care. Oh, oh! But I did skip one episode. The <sighs> Wayward Sisters. <laughs> Uh, it was ba- that was basically a pilot for the yeah exactly the why are you I doing really, that I really oh hate Jensen it. Ackles wants the week off what is that series getting picked up no it it got canceled did it already I'm, I'm I think so they have a like a petition to save Wayward Sisters so I'm pretty sure it got canceled again, it wasn't a very good pilot again okay, nobody honest. cares yeah I the and by nobody, when, I mean me. the women I don't care <laughs> <laughs> women are cool but the women in Supernatural is like eh. you can't hear me. No, I, just I, keep talking to us. What? Yeah. You fuckers. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Fuck you, Clint. Yeah. Oh. Boom shakalaka. The rare. Fuck you, Clint. All right. So, it hasn't been rare tonight. <laughs> so. <laughs> so we didn't. We didn't discuss favorite scary movies. No. None. I don't watch mm. scary movies. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. A, it's like. Uh, so I'm far? not a big horror fan, no, but there either. are good there are good horror movies. I have one, but like, I can't remember the name of it. Twenty eight days later, that really surprised me. That was, but that, I don't see that really. Is as, Pet Cemetery really considered a? Yeah, yeah. That's I mean, Steve, it, that, that, one's, like, that one's a pretty good. Like one. most Stephen King movie, I hate Stephen King's books, but movies made out of his books, I really like Christine. Like Running I love Man. that movie. Oh man, I don't, was that Stephen King? Was that yeah, a short I think, story? Or what, what was I, I don't know. It was, it was but it? I'm pretty sure it's the Stephen King Running, Running Man. Man. Oh, I, I know. With I do Arnold know. Schwarzenegger. Now, apparently the movie is completely different from the Oh, yeah. Most book. of the movies are completely different from the... Oh, did you, did you oh, know that Shawshank Redemption was a Stephen King yes. short story? Oh, yeah. Shawshank yeah. Redemption. That was a really good and, movie. Was uh, it Stephen? I mean... But it was it was Rita, oh, Rita. No, it wasn't a horror movie. It was still a Stephen King short story, though. It was Rita Hayworth and the Shawshank Redemption. Like four yeah. hours long. Wonderful movie. Yeah. Not. Nah, I wouldn't say horror, except there is what, the, what the scenes with the, the it, sisters. It should have won Best Picture that year, but it lost out to. You know what? What Stephen King movie I saw? You don't know. Of, of course, you don't know. Cujo. Uh, but that I saw last weekend that I, I for the first time, Dolores Claiborne. Never seen it. What? Kathy Bates is the star. I do like some Kathy Bates. I know. Uh, I thought you would have seen it. What about Misery? I haven't seen it. What? Uh. I heard she loves company, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Stephen King movies. They're good. Hey, Cutter. Hey, Ross. Remember the Driscoll Hotel? No. 
Oh. Wait, yes. Oh, okay. Amy and I met uh, <laughs> Kings, of Leon, Kings of Leon across the street. Well, did you know the Driscoll is the perfect place to hold your next event gathering, hoot nanny, or box social? No. You can ho- you can hold your next business event in their spacious venues such as the Jim Hogg Parlor, the Governor's Boardroom, or the Maximilian Room, named after Maximilian I and decorated with eight lavish gold plate sterling silver and diamond dust mirrors was he a socialist no he was an imperialist ah. i believe diamond dust mirrors that once hung in his palace in mexico before he was deposed don't be surprised if while looking in the mirrors you see the face of the woman carved in the frame looking back you know if you ever get married <laughs> You can have your wedding in one of the beautiful ballrooms. The Driscoll has hosted many brides over the year, and most have left. The Driscoll was always Jesse Lincoln Driscoll's pride and joy. That's probably one of the reasons he still watches over the hotel and many of the women staying there. (laughs) The Driscoll Hotel, where it'll be an unforgettable night, one way or another. Well, Ross, I want you to brew your beer again. Uh, we'll see. No, we should do. Clint, we, we I want you to venture out and try it. try your own recipe. Uh, I let Ross do the recipes, and yeah, I we, just we help him to, make them. Yeah, we brew together now. Okay, yeah, well, that's cool. It's a lot less. It, it helps divvy up the work. Yeah. So what what can we look forward to next? So next beer that we're making is our peach wit, which is not really a wit because we didn't use wit yeast, but no, we used Nordic yeast. So it's more of a farmhouse. It's a blend of whatever the fuck's around. <laughs> it's whatever we want it to be. Fair enough. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, if it's we were basically... Entering, if we were entering it into the Great American Beer Festival, what would we enter Ooh. it as? A wheat beer? Because we used no, wheat as we did one of use, our... We used 50% wheat, but I would not put it there because it's not going to be that hazy, hazy wheat. You think? It better not be. <laughs> Uh, well, wheat's going to leave some protein, so it might when be When can we look bit. forward to uh, sipping on that? Well, hopefully uh, we're going to bottle it Monday. Monday. Ooh. We'll bottle. Uh, and so, so a week or two week, later. Probably going to give it a full two weeks yeah, to carbonate. Be, yeah, two weeks. I did mine in one week, and I, like I said, it was heavily carbonated the first bottle I opened. But as time has progressed, the carbonation is seeping out. So I got to figure out if we're not putting enough pressure on the capper when we're capping them or what Mm -hmm. or if the cold is like doing something to minimize the carbonation somehow well it should slow it because when i opened that first one man yeah it it had a lot more carbonation than a lot more carbonation nice head on it it looked well the one i had tonight had some pretty good head of yours yeah, yeah it but you have to like pour it pretty hard to get you it. You do have to pour it pretty hard. You have to yeah. do a cutter pour. Yeah, you have to cutter it. pour yeah. it, and then it looks like a reasonable poured beer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's what that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Typically, that doesn't so, work. So, but hopefully, the next beer we brew, uh, I want to do a Scottish light, and then we've well, already brewed the the wheat. So the next one after that is Scottish light, and then the wee heavy. Yeah, the wee heavy. I'm gonna u- reuse the yeast. Uh, the, the Scottish light is basically just going to be a yeast starter for the wee heavy. Gotcha. And then we're going to barrel age that. And while that is barrel aging, I say, well, we, uh, we could take I want to try to do, yeah, I want to try to do the porter probably after that because those, the, the Scottish light and the Scottish heavy are going to be fermenting and just sitting for a while. So as soon as we get the Scottish light out of the fermenter, I think Do we, we want to go use, back to the porter. We'll probably use my fermenter if we want it to sit for a while. The heavy. If the we heavy. do the heavy, because that's going to be, we're going to do five gallons of that to we're fit in his barrel. Gallons, yeah. Oh, yeah. man. He's got, he's got a five-gallon barrel. I don't want to make five gallons of a beer again. This one is going to, it's going to get better with age. So it, Except we for don't, me, because I don't want a whiskey-aged beer. <laughs> Well, then you don't have to whiskey burn the <laughs> juice. Just pour out a couple of bottles. <laughs> How long do you, you guys do that? Said, you guys said you were going to age it for like three or four months, right? Well, like three months in the barrel, and then we're going to take it out and bottle it. And then we're probably going to drink as much as we want and then just let the rest age. Do like a New Year's? A new, new Year's. After six months, it should probably be like peak flavor. So in March, March, April, it'll be... We can take it all to Tanya's in April. Oh, yeah. Well, Tanya's. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for joining us for Homebrew. We'll 
hopefully be better next time, and we won't invite Cutter. There's probably going to be like 15 good minutes of this you know, whole if you, thing. If nah, you brew it on is. Sundays, I could come. We do. Well, we did last time. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so, so, of course, this is Ross. This is Clint. This is Amy. That's Joel's Joel. here. This is Cutter. This is Tony. And this is the podcast. This, this is, is the podcast. podcast. Three Beers In is a proud member of the Hopped Up Network. Thanks for sticking around. You can subscribe to us on iTunes, Stitcher, Podbean, Google Play, TuneIn, and on the hoppedupnetwork.com. If you like what you heard, rate and review us on iTunes. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at 3 Bears In Podcast and check out our website, 3 Beers In Podcast.com. 3, the number 3 Beers In Podcast.com. You can find information about us and the show along with the links to all of our episodes and our really cool merchandise. While you're on our site, you can tell us what you like, what you don't like. And if you don't like us, then why the hell are you still here? You should have turned us off long ago. But if you're just going to listen to us anyway, then you should probably subscribe too. And if you'd like a transcript of our podcast, write down everything that we just said. You can put those away. If you are looking for more beer podcasts just like the one you're listening to right now, then head on over to hoppedupnetwork.com. We are a podcast network focused on our local craft beer communities. Here's a quick example of one of the many podcasts you will find. Talking Point, a topic that invites discussion or argument. Drinking Points, topics that invite discussion about local history over a cold beer. Hey everyone, I'm Haley. And I'm Troy. And we are Drinking Points, a history podcast brewed for your enjoyment. Join us as we discuss history and brews from Buffalo, New York, and beyond. Find us on the Hopped Up Network.